the argument is that Allah is arbitrary, that he is someone who simply does as he wills. That means that he is arbitrary and fickle. If I walk down a road and I see 10 thirsty men and I give five of them water and I allow five of them to die of thirst, I am arbitrary. Yeah. I am not merciful. That is what they are describing Allah as. This is not magnificent. This is a dictator. This is a tyrant. This is the kind of thing that Pablo Escobar used to do in Colombia. He would go down the road, see a poor man, feel sorry for him and build him a mansion. And then he would go down a road, someone would look at him fully, funny, and he would have him shot dead. So basically, Allah looks more like Pablo Escobar. <laughs>
Premise one. Allah is not like anything that he has created. Premise two. Allah is merciful. Premise three. Mercy, when spoken about Allah, is meaningless unless it is actually something that means something to the created order. Otherwise, it's just mumbo jumbo. You might as well say Allah is blah, 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 blah. Because unless you can explain what mercy is, then it doesn't mean anything. When we explain what mercy is, we explain it by way of a transaction between two parties. That is how we explain what mercy is, because that's how we understand mercy. That's what the word means to us in this creative world. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. It also says in Islam that Allah is all sufficient. That therefore means that he is not dependent upon any other for his qualities. However, mercy by definition is dependent upon others for that quality. If I walk past 10 thirsty people and I only give to them water as I choose to, that is arbitrary. It is not magnificent and it is not merciful. If I give water to three people consistently to keep them alive, but then I choose not to give them water and I allow them to die, that is not merciful. I was never merciful. I was only ever fickle and arbitrary. Allah is a fickle, arbitrary God whose other descriptions make no logical sense. That's the point I'm making. Yeah, of course. So, to establish the truth of your thing, yes. I like the First, we have to come together on the definition of mercy. Then we have to come together on the definition of mercy. Yes. No, just Rahim. What is mercy in Arabic? Rahim. Is it? All right, so I've got the two switches. Mercy is intrinsic. One is magnificent, one is merciful. Mercy is intrinsic. So you're saying it's not magnificent? You know, you know, with English and Arabic, you're just word for word, words, bro. No, a word for word uh, thing doesn't work. One I'm word, sorry. One word in English, no, bro. one word in Arabic can mean five words in English. Are you an Arabic scholar? I'm learning Arabic. So you're not? Right. But the people that translate this book are Arabic scholars and they consistently translate. They consistently translate. Okay. Wait one second. The they consistently. Know what you're limited to? But I'm not going to accept arguments based on your limited Arabic when I have a, a, a text translated. So if I show you that there's more translations in this one, then we can expand on your argument. Show me. I, I would like to see a translation that translates Rahman and Rahim as the same word. So if I show you that... A translation? No. If I show you a translation that's different to this... No, I want to see a translation that translates Rahman and Rahim as the same word in English. They're not, they don't, they're not synonyms. Thank you. Yes, but they both include mercy. Right, but my point is, give me an... For your argument, the only way you can win this argument, I'm going to tell you how to win. Yeah. Right? Is, is to look at the definition. So I, I understand your point, and this is what okay. I'm saying. But this is why we have to go to the proper definition. You've got a copy and you're using it, and that's fine. What my question to you at the beginning was, are you willing to go beyond that definition that you have to the actual uh, proper Arabic linguistic definition to expand on your point? I, I, am, I am willing to accept any logical argument that explains away mercy without using a transaction. That's all you need to do. Can you give me that? I will research into it and I will talk to you. That's fine. Now let me ask you this, bro. If you cannot find... And you do, maybe you should do a PhD on this very topic. I'm an maybe I've just inspired you to do a PhD on this very topic. If you show me the truth, yeah. I will claim Brilliant. That's all I'm asking you to do. And we both agree that if Islam is self-contradictory, it's not true. Okay. Now, now I'm guessing you... Yes, yes. Right. Uh, now, let me ask you, what's your name? Hamza, nice to meet you. Uh, Bob here. I don't go by any other name. It's just... It's just yeah, exactly. exactly. Hamza, have you ever really studied Christianity, genuinely and sincerely? Okay. I would invite you to do so. Because you know when I said to you, I invite you to follow a God that makes sense, you laughed quite dismissively. And that tells me that you've invited a, a view of Christianity that's got nothing to do with study, 
and everything to do with ignorance. Because when you laughed, you laughed dismissively, and you've just admitted you've never studied the topic. Not scholarly. Exactly. So what I would ask you is to have sincerity and humility in your heart, to admit and repent that you should not have laughed in the way that you did, and to actually analyse and, I, and fully accept it, no problem. And to act, and, and to endeavour to study Christianity as a sincere human being. Is that a fair request? And I happily do that with you. I'll give you my email address, we can meet for a coffee. I will come back, but we can do that, yeah. Brilliant, so I'll give you my email address. So, bravo, tango, bravo. Bravo, tango, bravo. B, do you want just the alphabet? No, no, go on. Bravo, BTB. Um, Soko, so that's Sierra, Oscar, Charlie, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Charlie, Oscar, S O C O. So BTB Soko at gmail.com. Yeah? You write down your questions, we'll sit down over a coffee and I'll let you bash me for a bit. Yeah? Alright, it was really nice to meet you, Peter. You take care of yourself. Thank you. No, 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 you believe in yourself. Can I? In terms I love of you can not explain it. Do, JC, will you blur his face? Blur his face, okay. Sorry, Thomas? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Okay. Okay. I'll Just make, make sure you don't go like to different channels because they will also have to blur your face in case you get engaged with that was in um, and debate yeah. on other channels. People will recognise you if you have a debate on camera. On, yeah, on different channels, yeah. So they have debate on different channels, make sure you also go home. Blur your face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, we promise to blur your face. Are you asking Bro, I want to give you a gift. So, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, email me, I'll give you I'll give you the link once the video's out, yeah? Right? I want to give you a gift. This was written by an ex-Muslim. He used to be a major in the Pakistani army and he became a Christian. So he was a big geezer in Pakistan at one time. And then he became a Christian and he came to the UK and this is his book. What's the name of the book, Bob? Show it to the camera. The name of the book? Okay. By our brother, Major Afzal Shafi. Yeah, he's an ex-Muslim, he's now a Christian. He gives all his reasons here and this uh, gives you as a gift. And please note, guys, when I, I speak to people and I'm giving them books, I'm giving them books, proper books, not them pathetic little chick tracks or, you know, 12 pen stuff. If you're going to give someone, show generosity and kindness. Yeah, that yeah, should yeah. be the marker of the Christian. I should have gave him a Bible, man. Um, I'm sure he's got one, I suspect. And if he ain't got one, I'll get him one. Okay, have a read of it. Write down your questions and we'll talk. God bless you. God bless you. Read the Bible as well. Praise Christ, man. Okay, okay, a quick wrap-up. Yeah, yeah, I'll, get, I'll give a quick wrap-up. So, so me and the brother were speaking. And we were talking about Islamic deen, we were talking about what Muslims believe. Because I believe that Islamic monotheism is internally self-contradictory. And something that, and this is something that every Muslim will agree with, something that is self-contradictory cannot be true. If I say that A is equal to B, and that B is equal to C, but C is not equal to A, I've contradicted myself. That st statement cannot stand, because if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then logically it has to follow that C is equal to A. So if I make two statements that are self-contradictory, that statement is not true. Muslims say that Allah is not like anything that he has created. Therefore, that means any description of Allah is meaningless. If you say that Allah is merciful, but then you say that Allah is not like anything in creation, then what you're saying is blah, 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 blah. Because you've contradicted yourself. You've held up two self-contradictory statements. Why? Because mercy doesn't mean anything if we cannot explain it. And when we do explain what mercy is, we demonstrate that mercy is a transaction. A transaction between two parties. I am a thirsty man, someone gives me a drink to keep me alive, that is mercy. I punch someone in the face, they have the right to punch me in the face, but instead they choose to forgive me, that is mercy. It is a transaction between two parties. That means if we say that Allah is merciful, then what we are saying is that there is a transaction between two parties. However, 
It also says in Islam that Allah is all sufficient, which means that Allah is not dependent upon another party for any of his qualities. However, therefore we have a contradiction. One statement that says that Allah is all sufficient with no dependency on other parties for any of his qualities and another quality that naturally requires another party for it to exist, the act of mercy. Now, furthermore, Muslims will say that Allah is supreme, that he does what he wants. If someone just does what he wants, I ask anyone here, anyone who is listening to me, if you just lived by doing whatever you want, do you think you would be a good person or a bad person? You would be a bad person. Now, the, the argument is, the argument is that Allah is arbitrary, that he is someone who simply does as he wills. That means, that means that he is arbitrary and fickle. If I walk down a road, if I walk down a road and I see 10 thirsty men and I give five of them water and I allow five of them to die of thirst, <laughs> I am arbitrary. Yeah. I am not merciful. That is what they are describing Allah as. This is not magnificent. This is a dictator. This is a tyrant. This is the kind of thing that Pablo Escobar used to do in Colombia. He would go down the road, see a poor man, feel sorry for him and build him a mansion. And then he would go down a road, someone would look at him fully, funny, and he would have him shot dead. So basically, Allah looks more like Pablo Escobar <laughs> than he does like anything that we understand as mercy. Now, by contrast, the Christian God, the Christian God is someone who is both loving and merciful. That he is someone whose character is the very definition of goodness. It's not arbitrary, it emanates from within himself and he cannot do other than what is in his nature. And so God gives mercy and judgment. He will punish sin and he will extend mercy. And he reconciles this contradiction through the cross. And that is the conclusion, the summary of this chat. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Now, now I'm going to go into some talks. Ah, okay. Omar, do, you have any, do you have any you? questions, Omar, on what I've just said? Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Believe Allah is a pagan, or the name of Allah is pagan. Um, I believe that Allah was used by pagans, Christians, and Jews all before Muhammad used it. And so I believe that it is completely acceptable for a Christian to refer to Allah. So okay. long as when they are referring to Allah, they are referring to the Divine Trinity. Perfect. Okay. So, 